it is December 16th again, and this is the Microsoft DevSync. So uh, let's uh, let's get started here. We've had some technical problems, so we'll just jump right into it. Uh, Ken, uh, let's do you first. I know you've got a time constraint. Yeah, I'm still working on the uh, integration with the uh, URL for the back end uh, and for the uh, uh, continuous integration uh, training. Um, I haven't seen any new data. Chris, is uh, is there an ETA on when we're going to have some more data in there? Um, hopefully today. I did find some um, code changes I need to make after I talked with Michael yesterday. So um, I made those and am testing them. And um, yeah, so it'll hopefully today I'll have some more data out there. Okay, good. Yeah, so that's what I'm working on. Yesterday, today, well, yesterday, late yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Okay. Um, all right. Well, looking forward to getting that online. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to jump to Kevin uh, since he uh, kindly offered to join us here, uh, or accepted my offer to join us. So, Kevin, uh, what's going on with the hardware? I'm curious. Uh, um, so I've been working on the um, hardware putting all the last pieces together. Um, we, I think everything is ready to go to ship to our, to our PCBAs. Um, I know you were, Michael was just looking over the last bits of it. Um, I'm bringing out some extra uh, GPIO. Um, Josh, I added your rotary encoder um, bits. Um, I have, we're really using a lot of the, almost every GPIO on the Raspberry Pi anyway. So there's a couple GPIO on the XMOS chip that I'm um, pulling out just as uh, solder on pins, but uh, they should work pretty well. Um, what else? I think it's ready. Whoops. So uh, great. I'll, I'll take one more final look over that with you uh, after this. Who who are we gonna go with for the PCBA? Well, that's the next step, I think. Uh, we we still need to get go send out oh, reports, okay. so we're gotcha. We're yeah. yeah. We're at RFQ. Uh, okay, great. Thanks, Kevin. Um, let's go on to Chris Vare then, and uh, see how that's. Oh, hey, excuse me. Okay, so uh, yesterday. Um, or today, I, Hello. was that me? Oh, shit. I don't know how to respond to that. Okay, sorry. Siri decided to, uh, to pipe up on me. That was kind of strange. Uh, so, Siri? Siri? What the hell is Siri doing in there? Siri's on my laptop. It comes on all the Macs, man. And um, Siri doesn't know what to do with oh shit? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know why. And now my dogs decided to bark at whoever's at the front door. So let's start over. Today, um, <laughs> I made a change to uh, the code that selects wake word samples based on a discussion I had with Michael yesterday. Um, what I'm trying to do, and I, what I didn't support, um, was the ability to select a higher priority um, tag when a lower priority tag already existed, um, which is something that um, we're going to need when we have all of these uh, files in the precise database that are already tagged as wake words or not, but not tagged as human speech yet. So um, I made that change. I'm testing it. Um, and then uh, as soon as that's tested, um, I'm, I also spent some time working on the load of all the precise data from um, into the database. Um, and that caused a couple of problems. That, that code was not up to date. It was, it's a Python notebook and <laughs> it wasn't up to date with some of the changes I had made to um, some of my code uh, since the last time I wrote that. So I had to make some changes there too. Um, so by the end of today, I should have Mind changes tested um, and some data for Ken to play with tomorrow. So tomorrow will be um, then 
preparing for Oh, sorry, folks. It looks like my internet connection has frozen. Hopefully, it'll come back here in just a minute. Up on a database as well, so I can use that as validation for the selects and for the queries and stuff. Okay, and then yeah, maybe, maybe if, if you find yeah, anything out of sorts, it could be a problem with my conversion routine. So. Um, but I have yeah, but I mean, when, once you're ready, once your URLs are ready, then I'll be able to validate it against the existing data set. So that's good. Okay. okay. Let me know when you have that ready. All right. Uh, so I'm sorry, Chris, I missed the last thing that you said uh, before Ken started talking because my internet dropped out again. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I'm not on Wi-Fi. I'm not on your network. <laughs> Well, that's to solve my Wi-Fi problems, which are all over the place. But I'm I'm on a wired connection here, so I don't know what's going on. Ah, I have your your tracking numbers in your email. It says December seventeenth. Thanks. So yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to work. I think I don't know what you missed, but I think uh, was probably just tomorrow. Is I'm working on um, preparing for the production, and and eventually by the afternoon, um, installing everything I have to production. Um, so we can start doing some tagging and then, um, you know, I'll do patch releases if I have to, if Ken finds anything in his testing. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, all right. Let's go to uh, Gets. Uh, yeah. So we did some testing of, um, of the tag yesterday and, um, uh, and tagging so we can get that. Um, Everything we just talked about. Um, also built some new packages uh, from the Microsoft GUI um, repos and Microsoft GUI Mark II, so that should um, the uh, screen should default to the current correct orientation. Um, but then we might flip it again, is what I hear. Um, but anyway, uh, it was also just making sure I had that um, build process down pat, and um, I did a PR to. to uh, Add a bunch of that CPAC configuration directly into the CMake list file so that we're um, hopefully be consistent with the packaging rather than you know each person that does it chooses their own um, configuration variables um, uh, and that moves us towards a CI CD process for those packages so that's good. Um, uh, I had some good discussions with the lingua franca. Um, um, what are, what will be the you know the official maintainers of the of the lingua franca um, from the community side, um, being uh, Chance, Jarvis, and and OK at the moment. Um, so they're the people who have write permissions um, to do stuff. Obviously, there's a lot of other contributors, but just trying to put a, a tiny bit of structure there so that you know so permissions are explicit and um, we can update the, the team list and stuff um, and that people understand, you know, our merge policies and, and all that sort of thing. Well, um, yeah, those are the main things, I think. Okay, great. Um, so uh, this is a little bit of an yeah, aside. Well, Nope, my. I think Michael might have dropped out again because he's looking very still. <sighs> yeah. Did you move to Australia? Your internet seems like mine. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what's going on. Maybe there's some kind of thing happening in LA. Um, yeah. You mean I, I, uh, I do have my choice of online. one cable provider? So. I. Hmm. You need it's a Google, is it? <laughs> in your neighborhood. Fortunately, we have monopoly laws to. To right. Shield us from that sort of thing. It so, turns out it's really, it's really hard to build a competitor in that market. It turns out. Yeah, yeah. I I was supporting a local broadband company for a year or so. They had a, a tower on the top of my house to retransmit uh, their wireless network. But um, yeah, they they had to fold after about a year. So anyway. Um, and our tax dollars paid for the wires that they're running their cable on. 
Well, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. Well, you guys, uh, you guys do free market broadband too, right? Yeah, yeah, totally, totally free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was only free market when we were taxed to help them lay the infrastructure. Once yeah, the yeah. infrastructure yeah. was laid, they became very territorial. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, Gez, um, on the lingua franca stuff, uh, I know we're we're gonna talk that up in a upcoming um, uh, newsletter. Um, I just wanted to ask you to add like a couple sentences at the beginning of that, that uh, just to explain what it is in general, because there's a lot of details like, hey, this and this and this is happening, uh, but just like a couple sentences saying, hey, this is our system for translating between languages, or you know, uh, for yeah, 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 and that sort of thing. Um, okay, that would be great. Cool. Um, we hear okay. anything from our friends at Panacor? They, they, I think they received the hardware today. Uh, what did you? I missed the, the last bit, but um, I haven't I haven't looked at the messages from them. Yeah, but they got their device until last night. They got the they got the row four, um, uh, and they uh, <laughs> were interested in the fact that we um, were going to have to flash every single Raspberry Pi with new firmware. They, um, and for a I have to go. I have to go. Yeah, I don't know. Don't the new pies have the uh, new firmware? You know. At the moment, it seems like everything you order comes. Well, sorry, folks. Um, I normally have a very good internet connection, but I, today I don't. bugs in it when we can update it yeah yeah that's true all right sorry guys my network dropped out again i'm sure you noticed um so what was this uh, issue about the updating the pi firmware i guess i'm not really back all right well we're going to call it here for today thanks everybody um we'll figure this out and be back tomorrow